Katrina, this is, uh, you know, it's fantastic. You started the year, I mean, ended the year with a bang, you know, and you come back in with this. And I think uh, when you look at the last decade, you know, I think there's been a remarkable change in uh, what the lead heroines of our, our Bollywood film industry have actually experienced. And, you know, you've been at one of the forefronts of that. Uh, you've been very brave always, you know. Now this action heroine, Avtar, also is there with you. This is brilliant, you know, how there's just such interpersonal connections between just two people. This is, of course, a who done it. If there is, I mean, I'm not too sure what it is. But there's always so much that has changed, you know. And you've been pretty much... There was one of those two, three actresses that has been in the forefront. So just describe the last decade of change as actors, you know, especially for the lead heroines of films that you've experienced personally also, that, you know, we've all seen. But would love to hear that from you as well. Well, first of all, uh, Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> and um, I think for me, I always see there are good directors and there are good stories. And that's always been my intention is to be a part of a story and in a setup, I, I always believe that a movie, the director is the captain of the ship. So that's where it starts from. It doesn't, it's just, it's not, an, it's not just the actors. So I think this was a, con a combination of some really important factors to me. Um, working with Sriram Raghavan, that was always on my bucket list to do. <laughs> and um, he's been one of my favorite directors. And when I heard the story, I, I was in awe that I was going to get to, be, to work with him in a story like this, which was so incredible, but also I think was right for me. And I think that's probably why Sir and me came together for this film, because he must have also seen that in, um, in the character. Now that you've seen the trailer, you're so sure you've seen it a few times. When you see it out here on the big screen, first time, right? I, I mean, there has to be like, you know, when a batsman is also batting and he sees a lovely shot, he says, ah, nice shot there. When you see yourself out there, you are, that inner praise must happen once in a while. Do you like what you saw? I mean, I think the film has come together beautifully, both the films, actually, because as you saw, there's a Hindi version and there's a Tamil version. That was, for us, a big challenge because um, the kind of scenes, the nature of the scenes to perform those scenes in Tamil is a challenge because obviously that's a, that's a completely different language for me. But I think both of the films have come out beautifully. They're both films that I'm very proud to be a part of and that I can't wait to now share with the audience on January 12th. Yep, we're waiting for that. I'd like to call Pooja Lala as well, the editor of the film. Can I please have another chair up on stage, please? <laughs> why, why is a fantastic question. And uh, Girish, uh, I'd like to call you as well on stage, please. Girish Sarani, yes. yes. Pooja, I can give the answer to the why. Because you are the co-captain in this ship and uh, this wouldn't have been possible without you, any of this. <laughs> right, so Vijay sir, yes, sir. Uh, so wonderful to see you uh, in person, uh, such a fan and I'm sure that so many people are all fans and I think the last two years, Hamari have been very one-on-one, seeing you in so many different versions, whether it was Vikram or Farzi or, you know, I know that you get a lot of praise, but I'd like to quote Sri Ram sir, Sri Ram sir said that Vijay is a wonderful actor, not a star. And you know, when you were starting off, maybe a lot of people who come to Bombay 20 years back, people used to say, you have to star or actor. Actor is a tougher job. So it seems like you have chosen a tougher job, but you're a director's delight also. So uh, I feel you're a star actor only, but this quote of his, which I'm quoting sir only, do you like that quote? Would you rather be an actor? Who's then become a star because of his exploits? Happy New Year. You too, sir. Uh, I don't find any difference. Everybody is an actor. So, it sounds like the star doesn't need to act. It's not like that. So, uh, so uh, we are here to, we are here to part of stories and characters. We are just supporting the storytellers. That's what I believe. We don't have any information before the film starts. Even when we go to set house, the first day when we went to the set, I told Pooja ma'am and Sriyam sir, the house is full of emptiness, sir. Apna dimag bhi aise hai. Pehla din ka hai. So we always depend on our directors. See, uh, suppose uh, my directors are asking for an elephant. <coughs> I may imagine elephant, very bigger, red color. So he may demand that the elephant in a green color, very small. So what perception and what kind of elephant and how it should behave. 
and how old is the elephant so everything is depend on the director so we actors everybody is we everybody is stars and we everybody actors and that's the humility of the man and that's why i think sir you are such a favorite with everyone and this gentleman right next to you is a favorite for years for all of us and he's been a favorite yeah, agar do saal hoega to main sa chhota bhai bolunga sir ko acha party sir four days after success party main ghar ja raha hu sir acha sir and also it's 20 years of ek hasina thi that was the thing uh, jan 16th it released and uh, katrina ji here yeah rajiv again yeah I left on the left meeting right. after a long time uh, katrina ji how how was the experience of playing such a nuanced character vis a vis you know somebody who's just a glamour doll or somebody like in tiger 3 you're continuing a character which you have played before and you know doing all the action as well i think i see things um a little different perhaps um i actually think that the character of zoya is one of the strongest female characters i've ever had a chance to play and i think it, especially in tiger 3 it was so beautifully nuanced and so well written by manish sharma and um i thoroughly enjoyed being able to play that character but that world that world that film and that character has its own charm um a character like the character i'm playing in um merry christmas it's a different world it's a different tone it's a different language um it's a different pace it's a different rhythm so coming into that world which was shriram's shriram raghavan's world the first thing that i needed to do was to come in with an open mind we had been discussing this film for a good i think almost a year and a half before we got on the set and we had the first thing shriram sir asked me to do was to write a back story of who this woman was the character's name is maria and he told me like uh, he heard you heard earlier that he gave about a you know 20 minute narration and he asked me then to write maria's back story where was she what drove her to you know uh, to become the way she is what did she feel what had happened in her life so that whole process was an extremely um helpful process i think uh we worked very hard before coming on set i did a lot of workshops um a lot of workshops with a few different people shriram sir had a workshop with us as well so i enjoyed this kind of a process it's not all the time that you get to rehearse the scenes with your co-actor and to be able to do that over a few days so for me this was a really a really really fulfilling experience a lot of work went into the preparation and i think um i hope that it's come out the way that we had all hoped for and the way that shriram sir envisioned it I'll ask you this you know whenever you uh, you're, you're out there in the middle of the film and you're seeing it uh, unravel this one is a lot of one on one would you you know it does it, do you, can you get like a little bit uh, stuck and say that you know should i i, I only listen to shriram sir or you know you're saying there's a lot that can happen because i've heard that you're superbly rehearsed perfect on time as far as your dialogues are concerned the script is concerned all that is concerned this is so much a one on one relationship between you and vijay out there do you prefer this kind of sometimes you know this kind of cinema that comes out that you'll say ah, i'm really happy with this a big thumbs up to this kind of cinema i ask about to say magnum opus you know which is anyway going to work like when you have a, a, a yeah when you have a Sorry, one on one film like this you know would you prefer this kind of cinema like more you know like say on a you know when you intimate uh, yeah rather than like say magnum opus all the time which you're more way people are more accustomed to watching with you i think that um as an actor you're looking to tell a story and be part of a story which is really interesting and for me merry christmas ticked all those boxes it was a really really unique journey a unique story about two fascinating characters and the minute i heard it i was hooked i'm not observing or i'm not calculating that goes into calculating of course there are high octane you know big action drama films and that's wonderful that's a certain type of cinema but there are also more intimate um unique stories to be told and that story has to be told at a scale that is suitable for that particular kahani and i think and for an actor to be able to do both is what we're supposed to be doing and what um i personally enjoy doing and like i said for me this was a shriram raghavan film that i thought had a fantastic story 
and I was excited to be part of the journey. It was a very interesting journey, actually. There's many parts of the journey that even uh, Sir has not shared yet. There were many twists and turns, even in the journey of making... Shooting of it, yeah. E even before we got on set, it had a lot of... Um, had, a, had a life of its own. And when it finally kind of landed up um, as uh, me and Vijay being in the film, the first day of kind of interaction for me was very fascinating. The minute I uh, start, I heard Vijay describe and talk about a scene, I instantly realized, okay, this is a person who sees things in such a unique way that I can never see a scene in that way. And for me, that was really exciting to be able to come together and work with people who very evidently see things completely different to the way I would um, have a take on something and for all three of us to come together and um, Sir does a lot of rehearsals and we uh, we would do the workshop on the actual set for about I think it was a week before we started shoot and there were I was also like so sir when do we start there was no commitment of when we start we'll start when it's ready when he's feeling it and I think that process was very unique for me as an actor and extremely uh, it was extremely magical, I think, to be able to have been a part of this process of Merry Christmas. Yeah, this one's nice on the on the report card of your own also, you know, that you've done. But you were very true about him looking at it in a very unique way. He mentioned about the elephant, but not once did he say the grey colour. It was red or green. So, so I realised when you were talking about the elephant also, from the director's perspective also, it's green, yours is red. We would have all thought one option should have been the grey colour. So when she was saying that you see things very differently, I do agree that you see things very differently. One last question, Shriram sir, before I open out. When you make a hood on it, or you make like this twists and turns, that's what we assume with a film like this, when you see the final cut, can you have the itch to change few things? But then we say, ah, this is not come out exactly as I thought. Have you had that in the past with your films also? Because they always have these turns. Oh, if we, till, if we, keep, we keep watching the film, we even show it to a few friends and colleagues who are like, you know, who will be able to tell us the truth. So, by the time it's ready, I mean, it's, the final cut is only when we are happy. I mean, so that way there's no issue. And were you, uh, but like when, when we go back to Antadun also, we're shocked at the number of turns. Even this film will have so many turns. Are you able to shock the audience in this case that is watching it for the first time? Well, about this film, I won't yeah. talk now, but uh, let them watch and let them see. But uh, what I'm saying is, when you watch a thriller or a film like this, na, the audience is very engaged and they are making up their own story. They are trying to say, okay, ab ye hoga, ab ye hoga. Now, how much you can subvert that, how much you can sort of give them a surprise within, they're also writing their own script while the movie is on. So, it is, that is the fun, I think, you know. I think it worked well. We'll open out to the audience and uh, we've got a mic that is actually, yeah, right there, please. Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Uh, my question is for Katrina and I'm... I think, um, uh, of course, I understand what you're saying. You will fear, feel a little, uh, you can feel a little nervous or a little fearful when you step out of the zone of a large commercial entertainer. Um, but I think the solution for that is to be fearless and to overcome that fear because that experience and that reward is, is really incredible for an actor. And I think that that's an important thing for my growth as an actor and my growth as a performer. So I would just say, feel the fear and feel the nerves. That's good. Let that drive you. And uh, give every film your heart and soul, which is what I try to do. But ma'am, do you, do you feel that uh, that can result in like uh, a smaller audience or something co compared to the large audience that you usually cater to? Like, is that a fear? You know, I think that every film finds its own audience. And it, I think the story will, we've put out the story now. Um, our trailers are out, our songs are coming out now. And the people to whom it is connecting, that's our audience. I think Shiram Raghavan has a very loyal fan following. And um, I think that let's, uh, we, we've put our best into it. We've made a film I think we're all proud of. And it will now be, for you to judge on January 12th, and uh, we're all looking very forward to we're all looking forward to seeing the audience's reaction. Thank you. Thank you very much, and we are having the party on the 16th, as we've already discussed. Now we'll do a little photo op, ladies and gentlemen. I just take the uh, mics. Can I have the mics? And can I, Sanjay Chatterjee, uh, Pen Marudar, say, are you here, sir? We'd like to call you on stage for the photo op. <laughs> 